No. Yeah, good morning. You see, products from Holland are departing now to Chernihov, north east from, from here. The city was practically destroyed by Russian troops. So our employee now is by his own bus will be part of bigger convoy to bring food there and to take people back there is very big need now in transporting people from there because uh, and in Chernihov and also in uh, towns in between there is no electricity already for quite a long time no gas no water people are sitting in basement so volunteers as soon as there are some signs of green corridor or at least they are looking through just road through the fields they are driving through the fields and trying to pick up people and to bring here so we are preparing places for them to stay at least overnight or if they want longer and then they are transported further to the west of ukraine especially families with children older people so this kind of buses they are driving every day sometimes they are driving halfway and then they're stopped because there are fights or battles there and uh, they cannot drive further but uh, we here continue our our job after yesterday's curfew we are again preparing to cook look uh, we received quite a lot of products also from people which were uh, serving and distributing but also we received last uh, three days ago meat hello oops so here you can see people are cutting potatoes this is already ready and we have here meat so here are chicken sacrificed for the good sake of people and today we will put it again in our buckets and we'll distribute in the town so we in fact we need more and more soup now the bread is going very well uh, people are coming uh, for bread but uh, also soups people are coming more and more because there is more and more need uh, in fresh soups but also in uh, just having time uh, and a, a bit of normal life uh, and uh, we are very glad that God gives us all these possibilities we are very glad for all the people who are supporting us uh, there are two different platforms where we are collecting donations one in uh, in US my nephews Ivan and Vitaly organized for us and uh, one uh, platform is here in Europe it's a come over and help mission which is supporting our charity activities already for longer time we uh, we are having uh, relations with them already for something like 12 years uh, related to our activities with down syndrome children with uh, education for special need uh, people and now they're also supporting us in collection uh, of money for bake for ukraine project so we are looking forward for this new day uh, we heard that in the in the village in the neighboring dobro dnia you see that the that the volunteers ladies are, are coming and uh, you know what is beautiful dobro uh, ranko people said to me that yesterday was a curfew and uh, unfortunately they could not come to work ah here look, we have the big boss here is a big boss you see this is the main volunteer which is helping to bake <laughs> uh, and people were sitting at home uh, complaining that uh, at home they're getting crazy because they are reading news they are looking to the news they have no possibility to work but as soon as they're here or in a bakery or in a cafe they are occupied their minds are occupied by someone who who is even in a bigger danger or in a bigger need uh, they are among other people and they are really happy to serve so i'm also very glad that uh, we can serve here we have again christina yeah christina is making today 
multi cereal bread with some malt in it so it will be brown bread here is yeast and uh, we start another beautiful day with a lot of beautiful products with special products look look to this ah, this will be so tasty I smell already the, the beautiful smell of the bread and uh, today we will continue distribution to people who are in need. Thank you that you are with us. Here are some nice chocolates and uh, some vegetables and cans. We bring also to the bakery to volunteers to eat. You can hear, ah, Moonlight Sonata, you see, classical masterpieces. And our volunteers today in the bakery are continuing to make beautiful products, including cakes and mixing dough for the bread. See the process is going on. And here let's let's look to this beauty. Fresh bread in the oven. And a lot of bread in the in the proofing chamber. So today we will have enough bread to share with people. So now we'll deliver products to the cafe. Uh, there was quite a big line already waiting this morning. And I'll show you we have here we have breads, we have cakes, we have some more breads here, and there are a lot of buckets with soup. So we continue our beautiful ministry, serving people together with the 21.3 bakery, together with the 21.3 cafe, and together with Zelandia, and together with a lot of volunteers who are working with us, and also with thousands of people that are praying for us and supporting us from all over. People, people are, people are amazed that there is a meat in a soup. <laughs> it's, it's so interesting to see. I, I, I don't want to, to film everything, but people really share. Like there is meat because meat is in a big need here in the town, and a warm soup. So you, we, we have really big number of people now waiting outside uh, here. We started already some time ago and there is still even bigger line now staying waiting for for the bread and here the volunteers yeah, are serving serving people giving bread giving soup and uh, also sharing the good news that not only that the war will be over but there is salvation in life and here is also beautiful picture we have our cook chef cook but also there is another cook and that is actually a man who was uh, changed his life was changed because he went through the rehabilitation center he repented he understood the need of salvation and now he's serving people he's serving people together with us so this is great to see and it's really very special experience so Thank you very much that you are with us and without your support and without your donations also and without your prayers it would not be possible. So thank you really that you stay with us all these 22 days. Well, we really hope that it will be over very soon. However, if it will take longer time, we will need a bit more support. And also for sure, we're trying to collect now funds for afterwards, even if the war will be over. We will need funds to keep on financing people who will be in the need until the uh, economy will catch up. So please continue praying and I will try to keep you updated daily.